everybody. Uh, I'm continuing with my sunglasses addiction. If you're watching this or if you're just listening, uh, I've got some new orange sunglasses after I broke my last orange sunglasses. What a way to introduce today's episode of Got a Problem, Mate, the podcast and Vid Vodcast. Vid Vodcast. I'm Joey Page. He's Bilal he tried to. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Have you got any middle name? Good to have. Yeah, Ali. Is it? Yeah. Do you Bil- have a middle name? Bilal Ali. Well, no, that's two Bilal separate Ali. names. That's two. That's two. That's a middle name. What's your middle name? Uh, if you got really famous, you know, like sometimes they name roads after people. <laughs> they could name an alley after you. <laughs> Bilal Ali Ali. Who have they named a road after? Well, I used to live in, when I was young, in Dorothy Evans Close. And then I moved in probably to Stuart Evans Close. What the hell and are you Stuart Evans about? was a like racing car driver in the 1900s. And then he also paid for a road to be named after his sister. I can tell you got up too early. Oh, I've made a massive mistake today. Mm-hmm. I've come in from Lewis. Train's 50 quid. Train that only takes an hour should never be 50 quid, right? I know it's early. No, okay. So I drove home. And then because <clears throat> I hit the alarm for 10 minutes longer than I wanted to, it took me over two and a half hours to drive back to mine. And I was really sleepy. So I had to start the day with a can of Red Bull that was in the back of my car. It's, you, not, it's not how anybody should start. You've been hanging out with Alistair McGowan. Yes. Why? Uh, he's my best friend. You're from not, school. You, I told you not to speak to these he's impressionists. My best, he's my best friend from school. You can't trust them. Uh, no, I did a gig on... He, J- Joey shared on Instagram a picture of him with Alistair McGowan. <laughs> well, you look quite funny. Now, <laughs> for all the young people, which is most of our audience... No? No. no. Oh, we got old. loads of gen. We've got <laughs> loads of old. Jenners. Go on. Right? Um, Alistair McGowan was a very uh, popular impressionist in the comedy circuit mm-hmm. and was all over the TV in the 90s when, when television meant something. He'd be like, Tony Blair, he sounds a bit like this, but Frank Bruno, he's like this. That's what, <laughs> that's what impressionists all <laughs> but, did. Uh, I did a gig in Ludlow. Where the hell is Ludlow? It looks beautiful, but it is far. <laughs> but it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with Tom Ward and Alistair McGowan was in the audience and uh, he chatted to me and Tom afterwards. That's nice. He said about how he really enjoyed our sets. <laughs> did he? Mm. He didn't see your set. He did. Was it on a heat wave day? Huh? Was it really hot that day? Yeah, it was hot. Yeah. It's not so, a heat wave, is it? It's just summer. It's Joey shared um, an Instagram post with Alison McGowan. It says, so nice to meet Alison McGowan. Last night, uh, last night, juggernaut of TV when TV meant something. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, why are you like this? Uh, why am I like this? Why, what, do why am I being sound, nice to people? Why do you sound so right wing about it? <laughs> what do you mean? When TV meant something. By the way, speaking about right wing, I'm absolutely fuming oh? about this Biden thing. <laughs> what do you mean? Because Trump's not going to win that. I'm fuming about it. Oh, no, I'm joking. Win. I'm obviously not. You cried. Joey called me crying when there was the assassination attempt. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got a new skincare routine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, feel my face. Yeah, that's That's new. nice, isn't it? What, what are you doing now? I don't know, whatever Rebecca's put in my face. Mm. Mm. Vegetable oil. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm moving house this week. Yeah. So we'll talk about Can that I just say probably. for the people at home, it's oh. so fucking hot in here. <laughs> and you're wearing a coat. I'm all right. I, I just don't trust you sometimes. I have a fan down there. Well, that shouldn't be on. That's going to ruin the audio. Well, it's off now. Okay. Um, I think this has been a really good intro. Yeah? Do you like the energy? <laughs> no. No? Okay. <laughs> Should we introduce our guest? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're the one who's really... No, I'm doing the... great. It's like a, I've got like a bag of cement tied to my leg and I'm trying to swim this episode. Swim this episode? Yeah, and you're like dragging me, you're trying to drown me with your low energy and reading out all my tweets. <laughs> go ahead. Do you want to go first? Uh, I don't mind. Okay, I will. We should toss a coin. Uh, who like cares? they do at the start of football. Have you got a coin? No. <laughs> no, no one's got money anymore. That's the problem with society today. Go cashless. Back yeah. when TV meant something. <laughs> <laughs> Our guest today, by the way, um, I should tell you that uh, we both do an intro for you and you decide which one's the best. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, our guest today uh, was a prolific journalist when journalism meant something. <laughs> And is now a prolific comedian when comedy meant something. Uh, she's probably the coolest 
female comedian on the circuit because I'm obviously the coolest male one. Uh, it's a delight to have her here. She's about to go up to the Edinburgh Festival with her uh, second show. Yeah, I thought it was, and then I doubted myself. Third party, which is at the Monkey Barrel. Two. Number one of the numbers. <laughs> if you're going up, um, and she runs some really good club nights, which I've been to, and she lives near me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we haven't solidified our friendship properly, so I felt like this would be the way to do it. Welcome to the show, Alexandra Haddo. This Hello. isn't the first time he's got someone on here to try and be their friend. Didn't work last time, I, did it? I, <laughs> did I, that's, it I feel like we're already friends, so I'm quite. Dis- I'm sort of. No, but we're not hung out. Yeah, fair. Outside, but we of live gigging. very close as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was the nicest intro ever. So, Bilal, I don't know what you're going to go with here, but he maybe normally if you always or reads it just off of like comedy CV. No, that's not <laughs> true. I found a really good one. <laughs> okay. I think Today's I know one of the lines that's going to, if you're reading this off something, I know what it's going to say, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Today's guest, everyone, we gigged together one time in Edinburgh. In um, Assembly, was it? Yeah. It was big. Yes. That was good. That was, that was fun. Yeah, I yeah. enjoyed it. She's a very good comedian, does some journalism stuff I just found out Dubs. about. <laughs> Don't do Dubs a some. face at me. <laughs> Dubs. Dubs. I want to read this short paragraph from the Angel Comedy Club website, if that's okay. Yeah. It's not embarrassing or anything, don't worry. In short, Alex is a fantastic comic who's bound to become a major force on the comedy scene. Make sure you take every chance to see her as much as you can now, because it won't be long (laughs) before she's catapulted to the stratosphere. It won't be long. Oh, is that what it says? Uh, Can you just read that whole sentence again? Okay. Um... Oh, it's a really long... Okay, make sure you take every chance to see her as much as you can now because it won't be long before she's catapulted to the stratosphere. Can you imagine if I just confessed that I wrote that? I didn't. (laughs) Catapulted to the stratosphere. That's a mad little thing someone's written, isn't it? Make sure you take every chance to see her. Well, you must. Including watching this video. If you're listening, stop and turn the video on on YouTube. Because then you are taking every chance. Yes. Like, this is the first chance you've got. If you're yeah. only choosing audio, you're a fool. Yeah. Because but it won't also, be long. Unless that... you're driving, then that is the safe thing to do. Yeah. Because I consume all of my podcasts in the car. Watching YouTube. I'm, I'm with main, you. I'm yeah, mainly, yeah. I'm, I'm mainly listening to murder podcasts on my own at night. It's quite bleak. <laughs> They're not called murder podcasts. Yeah, they are. True crime. Yeah, murder but let's face it, they are murder podcasts. Yeah, that's right. I'm it's never true crime about, like... Someone's nicked a car or something. Do you, know do you mean? go by Alex Haddo or Alexandra Haddo? Alexandra, if you're on stage. So. Alex says, in real says, life. Okay. Yeah. Alexandra Haddo. I mean? There's less Alexandras on stage, so I use that. Do you oh, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's why I'm Joey on yeah, stage. Yeah, exactly. Because there's less Joeys. Yeah. Mm. There was quite a few Joes knocking about. I think you're the only Joey. Yeah, I think so. But I've destroyed most of the Joes now from my era. Excuse me? Joe Wilkinson doesn't really do live stand-up anymore. Yeah, you're sort of uh, taking them on one by one. Uh, Joe Roundtree doesn't really do stand-up anymore. Joe Bohr, irrelevant. Mm. <laughs> Only because he's... Irrelevant. No, I know him, that's why. Yeah, so. no, I know. Uh, Joe Brand, she's sort of retired. Irrelevant. Wrong spelling. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. You're the, the king. So I've added the... Sorry to my own boyfriend wine. who is called Joey. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, but not, he's not in comedy. <laughs> no, he's not. He'd absolutely smash so me at still... DJing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. But you could, yeah, you could fight, but it wouldn't work. So I'm going to start with this question. Um, Is everything okay? No. Because I saw you selling all your clothes in the street yesterday. Oh, right. (laughs) I thought you meant because of the problem aspect of the the podcast. In the street. (laughs) No, uh, you posted online that you were doing it. Yeah, 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 outside my friend's lockup. Because I'm really, really into my clothes. Yeah. I've got a lot of stuff. Yeah. I buy too much. Mm -hmm. Always secondhand. But mm, that's got, good. got this off vintage, ten pounds. Mm. Um, and uh, if you're listening, it's two cherubs it's, with Adidas. It's an Adidas uh, Fiorucci collab. Oh, uh, Adidas, no. Fiorucci. I thought that was a type of pasta. Well, yeah. it probably is to be fair, but it's also a very cool retro Italian nineties brand. Oh, no. so my uh, sweatshirts from as well. I've got. Oh, I'm gonna. Belle's gonna hate me for this. So Go on. we record more than one episode at once. Sorry, everybody at home. There's the fourth wall yeah. shattered. And yeah. I'm wearing this in the next episode. I no, don't. <laughs> oh, let's see. Don't tell That's them. Adidas. Oh, very oh. nice. Well, they won't see the back of it, will they? Oh. No. You'll have to sit the other way. Well, I'll that's the thing. Way. We've got to boycott them now because of the whole Bella Hadid thing. But mm. second hand is. is still fine. I don't know what that is. That's not second hand. You can look it up after. Okay. Yeah, but he probably bought that before this weekend. Yeah, I bought it. I, I, mean? I, I, oh, I, I did I buy it before this weekend. Yeah, there you go. I was there when you picked it up from the post office. Innocent. Yeah. 
Yeah. You were there when I picked up from the post office. Mm. It's lovely. But you have to give it away now. Do you want it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I do the big, I do the charity shop runs, you know, and gift people stuff and everything. But then I've got some stuff which is just too nice mm. to just, you know, give away. Mm. Um, and also I'm going up to, the, up to the Edinburgh Fringe, which costs, I think, approximately £1.3 million pounds now, mm. is it, per week? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so I thought I'd do a little I, which yard I'm glad sale. you brought that up. So um, if you would like to uh, join the Patreon, uh, you would really help <laughs> me and Bilal not go to the Edinburgh Fringe. Yeah, exactly. It would help you guys not lose money pointlessly for a month. Yeah. 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 Mm. The dream. Um, you guys aren't going up, are no, you? You're like the year. elder I'm statesman. I'm boycotting now. it because of Bella, what happened to Bella Hadid. I thought you were. <laughs> I thought you man. were. I said it when I came in. I don't really know who she is. <laughs> she's just, she's a model, but it's Adidas that have been the wrong ones. Right, okay. Yeah. You can look it all up on I that. did the last two Edinburgh's in a row. Okay, can I just say something? It's yeah, I'm really tired from it. Yeah. I've and I really have no got money left. I've really started. So I I was never used to really being to labels, right? Yeah. Oh. And then I and then I really got into Fred Perry for ages. Yep. And the I cost. Bought, I bought a yeah, right? polo from there this week. And then Vinted. now I'm now there is some nice Adidas bits that I like. So yeah. I think tell me about the Bella Hadid thing and I will tell you why I'm gonna weasel out of not boycotting. <laughs> Okay, Bella Hadid was modelling, I think it was a 1972 Olympics shoe. Mm. Um, And Adidas have dropped her because some people complained that, because she's half Palestinian, she's spoken up for the the Palestinian cause and some people complained that they were using her and uh, now they've dropped her. Oh. And everyone was like, that's really bad. Yeah, that is really bad. So we're not not going to buy you anymore. I guess I can't. I thought you were going to say she had like, Someone said she was modelling this shoe and they were like, that is too big a foot for a woman. We no, no. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, it, but <laughs> you know that classic thing that people I, I, say. He was expecting you to say that's too big a foot for a woman. <laughs> what is too big of a foot for a woman? I don't know. I don't know what size shoe she is going on or what you. the average size is. Uh, okay. So, um, but you can still buy secondhand. That's fine. Mm. What about sale items? Ooh. No. <laughs> no. Does that work better or worse? You can steal. I'm less money. You can steal it. You can mm. go secondhand. I will accept dead stock. Do Adidas have um, shops? Yeah. Where they sell stuff like that, like not just. The yeah, I think there's skin. one in Carnaby Street actually that right. sells all so the. So if I steal from cool Carnaby stuff. Street, yeah. that's what I would okay, encourage I'll go you and to do. do. That. What today? Well, not today. I'm, I'm slightly busy after this. Don't give them the heads up. Don't, like, not today. No. I don't At an unspecified listening. time. We are we are also looking for a sponsor. So, <laughs> <laughs> would you take Adidas as a sponsor of this podcast now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll They've just... probably got a bit of money freed up now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll just say like, well, we support. We think women can have feet any size. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we will say that. <laughs> you guys are feminists. Yeah, yeah. in a way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll put a statement out. Um, so, oh, before we even start the podcast, mm. you have to do your fit and proper persons test. That's not what it's called. I oh. know, but it's the same thing. Okay. Don't say that. Uh, we are going to now do a quick feature called Vet the Guest, where okay. we check if you're appropriate to be on the podcast, because right. you never know I'm these excited. days. I'm excited. nervous. So it's five quick questions. Please answer honestly. It's like is, a personality test. Okay. Is one of them, you, you see the one that says... Are you half Palestinian? You should delete. Yeah. Right. Or how big are your feet? Yeah. Are your feet too big for a woman? <laughs> Mine are actually very small. For a for woman. For my height. Yeah. Um, question number one. What's your cafe order? A tea. Normal tea. Breakfast mm-hmm. tea. We've just seen evidence of that, Bella. Yeah. I don't, I don't like yeah. coffee. Written last night. I don't like coffee. If I'm having a treat, a chai latte. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. Uh, sugar? No. But Milk. I usually have a cake with it, which cake. is the sugar. Do you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. So you feel like you feel like I'm being good, no sugar in the tea, but you have it with a bun of some sort. Yesterday, I went for a 10K run and then oh, went to the we beach go. afterwards and You're got a, a coffee. Time, aren't you? And then I was like, I'm just going to get a portion of chips. What was the point in that? Actually, if you eat straight after exercise, it, you're still burning calories quicker. What? Oh. Yeah, because your metabolism is still up. Oh, fantastic. Run yeah. to McDonald's. Yeah. I'm going now. <laughs> We've actually got to boycott McDonald's. Anyway. <laughs> Tesco? What's left? <laughs> the TV, Wimpy. when it meant something. <laughs> yeah. uh, question number two. Seen any good films? 
<laughs> any any t- recently or just any time? Any time. Seen any good films? Any good films? Um, what did I watch really recently? Oh, I saw Long Legs at the cinema. That wasn't good. That was horrendous. What's Long Legs? That's the new Nicolas Cage one where it's the oh. horror film. Uh, oh, that about was, spiders. Uh, no, no, but I could see what I could why see you, why, why you think, think that. that. Yeah. Right. That's the last thing. Is it just Nicholas Cage with really long legs? I mean, there's like a thing that he sa- his character says in it that says long legs, but the the link is tenuous at best. Hang on, so hang on, is he like the bad guy? In it? Yeah, he's the and scary he going, guy. Long legs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sounds good. Sounds better than I thought. <laughs> it's really scary, but the plot. No. <laughs> No. no, not into my no. mind. <laughs> You've basically seen it, then. No? Okay. You scared? Well, I like it. You scared? Yeah, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, no, good films. I liked Poor Things. I saw oh, that I like quite Poor recently. Things. It was yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Question three. If you could read to any animal, which one? Oh, a parrot, because it could maybe talk back. Oh. Is good, that what you want, smart, though, when you're reading to? Answer. Well, you, if you're reading to a cat, the cat doesn't give a fuck, you mm. know? So at least you'd get some kind of, you know, you might ask a question or you might repeat something that makes you think about the book differently. That's true, yeah. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Uh, question four. If you could compete uh, in the Olympics, what would you do? In the Olympiad. Like if you were, if, excuse me? In the Olympiad. Is that how what? The upcoming Olympiad. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that is what the whole group of games is called. Is, is it? it? Yeah, I think so. How do you know this? Because he's from a different time when TV meant something. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know anything usually. <laughs> Meaning. He's Googling Olympia. When he first listened to it on oh. the wireless. An occasion when the ancient or modern Olympic Games were or are held. Are. Is that's yeah. present tense. Yeah, were or are. Were or are. <laughs> were or are held. <laughs> <laughs> so it is just another word for Olympic. It's the old fashioned term for Olympics. Thank like, you. you know, Riz. Yeah. The old fashioned term is charisma. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I yeah. didn't even know that we shortened it to Riz. Uh, oh, yeah. we had Finley some, Christie told us that. We it. had some oh, young people so on old. here. It yeah. Was, yeah. Um, so if you could pick any, like you were really amazing at whatever um, you wanted, what would sprinting. be your ideal? I'm an ex-county sprint champion. Oh, are you? And then oh. I then I just you know discovered fun. Yeah. Right. Um, Did but you yeah, win I'd love medals it. and stuff. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, loved it. Uh, but yeah, I would compete Which in which county? Uh, Northampton. Doesn't show. count. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my sweatshirt. Sometimes I wear it. Uh, yeah, I'd do that. Absolutely loved it. It's great. Cool. Yeah. Like one, do you two find that the music from Chariots of Fire made you go faster or slower? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have that on in my headphones, yeah, all the time. Was it? Did you do the one where you have to start in the position on the floor and yeah. all of that? You mean sprinting? Sprint, yeah. Yeah. All sprinting, But were yeah. you not ever nervous you'd mess that bit up? Yeah, of course you are. Did, oh. you, ever get, did you ever mess it up? Yeah. yeah. False starts, side blocks, spikes. How a lot. And when they fire a gun, were you not scared of getting killed? <laughs> in Corby, yes, actually went yeah. from. But no, that was the only safe gunshot. So it's fine. Oh. Yeah. It's a very good Corby answer. Corby Roth. It's unique. It's unique. Okay. I saw Suze Kempner's preview yesterday, friend of the podcast. She's the only guest we've ever, ever had on twice. That's right, isn't it? She came on the Christmas special. The Christmas special. And she did stuff about dressage, which she loves. And Oh, she is that actually... in the Olympiad? Yes. Yeah. And actually, it's the weird one, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, it's quite cool when you understand it a bit. Anyway, question number five. Would you ever consider pretending to be right wing for huge fame and fortune? Absolutely not. And I wish that my morals were less because it seems very easy. Yeah, cause you can't have anything at the minute, can you? You can't have can't McDonald's, have you can't have Adidas. Honest to God, my life is rubbish. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> here's what I, I just go, oh, what? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible being principled, isn't it? Yeah, I just don't read. Can't have any it's fun. Easier then. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, my, uh, you know, I don't feel like I'm moving on in my career because I'm not really <laughs> feeding my brain because I just, re- <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Congratulations, Alex! You scored three thousand four hundred points on oh my Vet God. the Guest. That's very high. Thank- is very it? High. Yeah, yeah, and you can stay on the podcast. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Are some, the characteristics not- just sort of? Like some, people idiot. Ha- some people have to leave. Oh, we've had, several we've had of them. curse has he had to leave? Yeah, he's, he, he, he's not coming. He didn't even me. make it for the preliminary phone interview. <laughs> um, what's this? Just wanted to give you an update. Uh, uh, we what have are you not been, I've, I've not been paid for a gig for like three months. Why are you Where reading is, this uh, now? Where? I can't say. You can. It's my fucking bugbear. I really can't. Mm. Why are you reading that now? Well, I wonder where it could be. Yeah. <laughs> 
look into camera now. So anyway, get that. what were you? Doing? Why? Do, why are you being so unfreshly to read your? I'm uh, not. Because because I'm in. I'm, I'm instigating the spirit of protest uh, and justice you, into uh, the loud. Imagine if I thank started you. reading out my emails. Yeah, go on. Dear Mr. Page, thank you for your donation to <laughs> Donald Trump's <laughs> campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop sending us money. We have enough. <laughs> You've got enough of those You can't now. afford the train from Lewis because you're donating so much of your income. You should have worn a thing on your ear. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> did, yeah, that would have been Why good. is it like um, a weird like packet of latex gloves he's got on there? Do you know what I mean? It's so weird, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think his ear's actually okay. It must be. That's the thing. Not My friend thing. reckons that they were go- They should have put the bandage on yeah. it. Like if you or I had like it, but Terry he didn't Butcher. want to look weak. Yeah. Yeah. Terry Butcher? Yeah. What happened? When he played for England. He had to wrap oh, his yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the Bappe mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would have been Over cool. his ear. Yeah. You With know that the, the, we're recording this the day after Biden has Yeah, I know. That's out. what... Do you know that this is exactly why I keep bringing it up? Because it's very rare... That we record on a day when something has happened exactly. and it's actually going out yeah, th- yeah. that week. Oh, as well. okay. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's going out tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's do some satire. So, no, satire. I was just going to say that, you know, you're thinking, well, you know, he's obviously lost the plot, but you're like, well, he's 81, blah, blah, blah. And then this morning on BBC Six Music, they were like, and happy birthday, Mick Jagger, 81 today. And I was like, okay, Mick is fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, I don't know if he is, though. He spends a lot of time in a cryogenic chamber. Oh, well, maybe Biden should have thought about he that. He should have. You know? What's that? Is that it's really cold? Yeah. I don't want to do that. No. Did you ever do cold showers like Wim Hof? No. Do you know what? Oh. I watched I watched the Wim Hof thing and I had this, you know, I think comedians are very susceptible to it. We watched something where we're like a sponge and we're like, oh, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I did it for one day. I was like, that's horrible. It's Never really it horrible, isn't it's it? Just, it oh, no, um, thank you. I actually got in a cold bath, like a just cold water bath. Did you? After my run. Mm. What, like just a, in your house kind yeah. of thing? Like not with ice. I bet that's. But I bet it, that felt amazing. To be fair, it, it, I didn't like it though. No, I had to. But do after it because, a run on a hot day, and, that and must it wasn't be even right. because I was trying to like uh, trying to, you know, for my muscles. Yeah, I was like, I've got to be out the house in fifteen minutes. I will not stop sweating for yeah, another hour. That's a good I point. I need to cool my body down somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yesterday, I went to. There's this amazing in the tiny little seaside town of Seaford. They've got a sauna, like one of them sauna cabin things on the beach. So you go there, like you pay for an hour. Great. And you go in and you get out and you run, jump in the sea and then you get back in the sauna. Oh, <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. yeah, but you eat chips after your run. So yeah. I imagine there were chips in every bit of the... In the sauna. I was yeah. just in the sauna eating a burger <laughs> and chips. <laughs> just talking about how you're on a health kick. You yeah. could cook food in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> that egg. would be a great viral video. Wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, that'd be a TikTok trend. Cooking like like it, when oh, I did yeah. the no look when I did the no look Ivan Tony penalty video and it spent it it took me a whole day to make it and nobody fucking what's the point? Oh, I didn't see that. I'll share it no, after this. It's too late now. The Euros oh. is over. Do you put effort into the short form content? No, and I really should. I'm um, going the other way now, where I'm just yeah. talking to the camera about nothing all the time. I quite like them. Yeah. I, I enjoy when you say, how was your day? And oh. it says yes, no, and then two and things. Two things They're that have, have affected my I day. I always play that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thanks. No worries. Well done. Yeah. I uh, No, I don't, well, I've done a few sketches recently mm-hmm. with Adam Flood, uh, because we were doing a show who, together. Who, and we were who, to... who didn't pass the fit and proper person's Did he test not? No, he had to leave. He failed the first <laughs> question of, are you free? On Monday, and he said no. <laughs> that bastard. He said no. I'm in France. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, he just went on a last minute trip to France because we were going to film one last weekend, but we did a six music DJ one, and it went mental. Oh. And that, that's the yeah, only that thing. That's the only successful thing I've ever done online. Yeah, and we were, that was both, really we were both funny. like, oh, that is nice. Yeah, that was really funny. I yeah, shared thanks. that. With people. Thank we're you. Gonna start I remember yeah. doing some together, maybe if we can be bothered. Don't try and ride on my coattails, mate. I want a viral podcast. Because I've podcast. gigged with Alistair McGowan in Ludlow. He didn't like you. I saw your set. It was really good. Alistair McGowan wouldn't watch you. I he feel was, like that's then. an AI-generated meet. Like, you met Alistair McGowan in Ludlow. Yeah. <laughs> what impressions is he doing these days? Uh, well, do you, know, do, you know what he, do you know what he's doing? What? He's supporting on tour yeah. Jasper Carrot, who's 80. Oh. Jasper Carrot is 80? And he's still doing stand-up. Is he? Yeah, good for him. Fair play to him. For all the kids out there, uh, Jasper Carrot is the guy, he dresses up as a big carrot and does stand-up as a carrot. <laughs> and he's the dad of Dawn from The Office. Yeah. 
And he was the guy who invented the TV show Golden Balls. Do you remember that? Yes, yeah. and I he, do know that. And then yeah. he sold it around the world and he's like absolutely stinking rich off of it. But he's still doing stand up. In the same way that like Alex Horn from Taskmaster is now like a million, multi million. Yeah, he must have sold it around the world. Caked in it. Do you think we could still got a problem, mate, around the world? Yeah, if we turned it in, oh, if we turned it into a, uh, it. into like a, some sort of TV comedy quiz. I think you could do yes. it and get it in the deep south in America on account of your affiliation. Yeah. MAGA. Yeah. MAGA. <laughs> MAGA. Um, MAGA sode. Do you like doing improv stuff ever? Yeah, I actually do. I like I, I like to... when someone has a weird concept for a show and they invite you along because it's just a bit different, isn't it? Have you seen the clip of, oh God, who's that actor, Billy Bob Thornton, when he's being really awkward? No, I haven't. Have you not seen it? And there's another one as well. I was hoping I was, I was hoping we could create a viral moment with one of our guests today. Oh, a viral moment. What, you want me to moment. be awkward? I uh, want you to be offended oh, by okay. something. All right, go on. Because what happens in the Billy Bob Thornton one is they bring up, so he's got a band, it's awful, <laughs> and uh, oh. the interviewer mentions that he used that he's an actor, yeah. and then for the whole interview, Billy Bob Thornton's just going, mm, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Like the whole thing. He's just answering So he's trying to be interviewed like as a musician at that point. Yeah, and then right. you find out later he's annoyed because he brought up that he's an actor. It's okay, really stupid. Oh, come right. on. So obviously okay. uh, you live near me, yeah. Alex, and um, a few times I've stood outside your house. Of course. And I feel like you've not seen me looking through the windows. Oh, I've seen you. Oh. Any good? What's your plan? <laughs> oh, I, like this. I, I was hoping she was going to say, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> How close do you live together? In I don't really know. I don't actually know. Quite close. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to say exactly where I live, but I, sure. I know where you live because we talked about it when we did that gig yeah. where I left just before oh. you went on and then a woman collapsed. Yeah. That's what did you do? A woman I and then spiked you, her drink. Did you get? <laughs> you can't say that. No, that's too far. No, I didn't. No, Obviously I think not. That's... Didn't you get stuck in there for two hours? <laughs> uh, I was going to. We, yeah. we were doing a, a gig where there was an early show and a late show, and it was really close to our houses. <laughs> and so for once, we were. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to be home by like quarter past nine, having done two shows. It was yeah. nice cash. Mm. So I left straight away after because I'd seen Joey's set at the earlier show, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch him again. And I was like, no, I head off. And then yeah, I one of the other. I actually was going to do different material, so she just. Well, I should have stayed <laughs> because yeah, then a woman collapsed in the doorway. In so the they doorway, got, so no one's She's fine. Out. She's fine. Yeah, she was fine. But, apart from she had a shiner. Yeah. So they were yeah. stuck in there for two hours. Why? Because it was so hot. Uh, it probably. was a hot. It was a hot day, but I, I think I don't heard. know what it was. It was a Monday as well, so Loads maybe she had a big weekend. Were falling over when it's hot. Yeah, exactly. You know, it sends people uh, loopy, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, so should we have a look at some problems? Yes. Would you like to start? No, I, you, one of you guys okay. get us, then I'll go. Do you want to do your stupid one? Well, why is mine going to be stupid? Because you're an idiot. <laughs> no. That's good, because I've got a, a serious one and a stupid well, one. Oh, we can be serious. Mine is uh, slightly connected to something that we've already talked about on the show, so that's good. Um, I want to slightly talk about fashion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, I want, and my problem is twofold, right? Number one... No pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Um, number one, I'm... About to turn 40. Yeah. Right. And I'm just worried about, do I need to like start thinking about my fashion sense in terms of, am I dressing correctly for my age? Do I need to have a little revamp? And part two of that is, you said earlier about how you'll just give stuff away to charity, whatever. I really hate throwing any of my clothes out. And so it's I, becoming a problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is difficult because I'm the same. Like, mm. even when I was selling stuff yesterday, it was making me want to keep them all. Because mm. I was like, oh, no, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, yeah. It's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. You have to be a little bit callous when you're with yourself when you're doing a charity shop run. I think it often takes me, like, three times to actually get rid of... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm like, no, I will wear that again. And then when you realise you haven't... So should I, like, have, I mean? like, a little buffer in space where I'm like, right, I'm yeah. going to put it there. Mm. And if the next time I come to do this, I haven't even touched that, it, it's exactly. going. That's exactly what I do, like a sort yeah. of, like, tier system. So I'm just going to explain something to um, Bilal. Sometimes people have more than like four or five items of clothing. <laughs> okay, sorry, Karen. Joey did. did Joey did a video for Joe.co.uk. <laughs> oh yeah. On for Twitter, an advert, and um, a lot of people <laughs> criticised his clothes. Has everything you? Um, I think you've got really cool style. And can I just say, there's no such thing as dressing appropriately for your age. How boring. Oh, but what I mean is, like, as I'm getting a bit older so like it took me quite a long time to find this style because uh in my sort of like mid 30s 
my face changed from like a boy's face to a man's face. And so then I had to like be like, right, it doesn't really suit how I'm dressing. So I need to okay. like. And then I feel like now I've gone for like a sort of, I just think, would anybody in a Wes Anderson film wear this? And if the answer is no, I wouldn't wear it. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you're like the sports teacher that left school because he was following his music career. Yeah, right. But do, I really, cool want, do I really want to be associated with being a sports teacher? Do you know what I mean? No, but you're not. You left sports no. teaching. You don't want that. No. No. That's Based on what people have been saying. It's only new ones. <laughs> um, so but I'll, there, periodically was... on this podcast, we'll read out the comments on this. <laughs> So one guy, uh, Drax, said, dress like a C word and uses words like bring the vibe. I the had to. It was in the people. script. I hate bring the, I hate the word vibe. I tweeted him on the podcast yeah. that time because yeah. he had all vote reform stuff on his thing. And I replied to him. I said, not me. Can I say not me? The no. guy commented. <laughs> the guy. You're just strictly Trump. Yeah. yeah. We did this on the podcast. I said, hi, mate. Did you go D-Day celebrations? <laughs> and he said, why? I said, come on, answer, please, mate. He said, why? What's it got to do with this? Oh, what's he up to? So, th so when I went to vote a couple of weeks ago, yeah. I was right at the front of the queue and I was in a rush. And the queue had been quite long, you know, good turnout in my constituency. And I got to the front and then this really old guy kind of came in with like a walking stick right behind everyone. He was like, excuse me, excuse me, I need to get to the front. Uh, I've... I've just been to D-Day. I was like, oh, that's taking you a long time to get back. And then... <laughs> Trouble with the fairies. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, I'm 92. And I just instinctively, without thinking, just went, so that made you seven in 1939. And then everyone had a go at me. <laughs> just saying, he was lying about fighting in the war. No, he was uh, pushing in as well. And he was yeah. pushing in. But, but he hasn't got a lot of time left. But if so he did fight true. in the war when he was seven, then he, I give him my absolute respect. That's true, yeah. And thank him yeah. for his service. He must have yeah. been a really hard seven-year-old. Yeah. And then, and then he went, may as well put, as he was in the booth, he looked around at us, who were still like, get out, like, hurry up. He was like, could I just say, you may as well put an X in every box because they're all the same. And we were like, okay, thanks for the bit. Get out. That's pretty, he sounds funny. I like, we should well, get him on here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's get him on. on. He li obviously lives in my area. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does. yeah. Do you know who I like? Have you ever seen the old lady who runs the tapas bar on Columbia Road? No, yes. She's so grumpy, yeah, she, but I really yeah, yeah, like she, her. Yeah. For it. Like she just doesn't. If give anyone a shit. walks in, because yeah, that, right. that tapas place is so good. Oh, I love that it. they only have to, they open like the post office collection depot, don't oh, they? It's, like it's, anywhere on it's, Columbia Road, it's open like twelve till three twenty. Columbia three Road days a week. is an absolute piss take for people that don't know. It's it, on a Sunday. It's a flower market. It's obviously very popular on a Saturday as well. But the people that own the shops there just take the piss. They're never open. They're never open. They sell, one shop sells Japanese vinyl yeah. and something else, yeah. like weird wine. You can't have a shop that sells those two things that's and be money, successful. That's money laundering. Looking oh, at yeah. me and Joey Page, you would be like, I bet those two are in that fucking shop. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I get all of my vinyls from that Adidas website. <laughs> So what are you going to do? You're going to throw uh, out all your clothes? No, well, but also, I because you're a very fashionable person. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. I was wondering if you was like, oh, have you thought about considering doing this to your look just to give it a little extra little... I That's the advice I, I want. Yeah, okay. I really like the look, though. Maybe just ca maybe just carry on being like weird shades as your thing. What yeah, weird he... shades is becoming Do you know what thing. I mean? I got some of them skiing ones as well now. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, weirder and weirder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if he started wearing loads of temporary tattoos? Do you think that would oh. be good? No. All over his arms and neck. <laughs> you want something that becomes the second sentence after a gig. Like, who are you on with tonight? Joey Page. Which one's that? The temporary tattoo guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think people don't know after 18 years. There's no point in <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an ear piercing. Because I used to be the Trilby guy. I, right. I wore a trilby for 10 years, pretty much, which I think is a mental illness. When it actually. was a thing. When it was like the Pete Doherty <clears throat> yeah. thing. Yeah. He but, was a brony. Do you know bronies? What's brony? Guys that like My Little Pony that wear trilby. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and they're called bronies. <laughs> Look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like never nudes. Have you yeah. heard this? No. Yeah. It's like people that are never naked. Oh, ever. Ever. Even, ever. even in, in their the own, shower. Even in their own like company. In, in the shower. And Helen Bauer started a rumour that Sunil Patel was one and it really caught fire. I could see that. <laughs> He's not, but Helen did start the rumour. Um... <laughs> Lloyd Griffiths once started the rumour that um, Silky didn't have a penis. Mark Silicon? No. no. He's, like a, he's like a northern, uh, he's like from Leeds. Oh, is he? But I like, don't know him. 
is is old school. Is it believable? Did Silky know about this? I don't know. Was this bullying or I don't know. A, a laugh? Asteroid. We don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, I've got a really nice listeners question. Oh, cool. You, I don't okay. know, but I, I haven't quite same. finished with my oh, advice, sorry. actually. Go on. Yeah, ski goggles. But you must never... Speaking thing. of hats, lovely hat mm. for you. Also a little tribute to MF Doom. Yeah, thank you. But you must never, ever, ever yeah, wear be it the backwards. guy. No, that's all right. No, no, not, not at 40, it's not. I reckon you could probably pull it off, but no. yeah. All right, let's see. That's not acceptable, is it? No. It no. doesn't look bad, but you do you look underage. No. <laughs> also, I've got to work out what I'm doing with my hair because it is starting to go through the middle, and which no, makes you puff out of the side. And I look like fucking John McCrick. What were you going to say about hats? Sorry. You must never wear those festival hats with kind of the goggles on the top. Oh, no. <laughs> Sex offender. No, but uh, a bucket hat's fine. Oh, but yeah, I love yeah. a bucket hat. Yeah. I've got a fake Burberry bucket hat. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. a real Burberry mm. yeah. bucket hat. Did you get it with your fake scratch cards? <laughs> yeah. The scratch cards are real. <laughs> Before we came on air, we were talking about uh, petty crime, such as getting refunds on train tickets. Yeah. And scratch cards. And you scratch won cards. big on a scratch card. I won big. I'm addicted to scratch cards. It, uh, it probably is a problem. Define addicted. Um, how, how often are you buying them? So I go through phases. Sometimes, you know, if you know, I'm a few months without, but then there'll be two months where I'm buying one or two, three, four a week. Mm -hmm. But I'm winning quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. And I've you're winning quite... at life, so you've got expendable income? Well, it's more like, this is what happens. You buy a fiver one because you've got more yeah. chance of winning something on that, oh. right? So you buy a fiver, you win 10. Yeah. Then you buy two fives, and because they're in a row, one of them's more likely to be a winner. Oh. Then you win 15. Then you buy three and you lose it all. But the point mm. is you've had six chances on five pounds. I'm one of these people that if I do ever win anything, I will spend at least half of it on trying to win more. Yeah. So, like, uh, I won, like, 150 pounds on the lottery. Oh, that's think, see, I would cash in on that. Yeah, I did, yeah. but then I bought, like, 70 quid's worth of lottery tickets. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. You've got but you've still issues. got 80 pounds there. I know. Free. And similarly, I won a big bet at the beginning of last season on Tottenham. Won like about 200 quid. What yeah. What was the bet? Our Tottenham crap. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> yeah, what was the um, bet that Harry Kane was going to... No, there was three different things and like they all had to happen. And then it was like, if I I cashed out just before something happened where it, I, I would have won a, like, I won like 200 and something quid, but I would have won about five grand. Right. If our player got a yellow card. But in the last, like, three minutes of injury time, he wasn't even getting anywhere near the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cash I cashed out. out. Yeah. And then he no. fouled someone on the edge of the box. No! And it was a blatant foul. Oh, and the referee really? didn't book him. But I was like, oh, my God. But I spent all of that money on all of my bets at Tottenham last season. And I, I've lost but I it I don't all. mind that so much. Like, because then you... That money, you're not losing it, are you? No, I know. But you know still, I mean? yeah, the season ticket's very expensive. Have you renewed it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. With the Patreon money. Uh, what? Uh -huh. I, I borrowed from the Patreon. You borrowed? Yeah. Is that where it's gone? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Don't worry, it sounds like he's going to get it all back. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should say, if you would like to support the Patreon, then please do sign up. It's only, what is it, £5 a month? If you missed the £3 offer, then I can't help you with that. Yeah. But you have missed it. We're doing a live Friday. show we should have really mentioned. <laughs> no, but we haven't got the details yet, have we? Oh, we do. Oh, okay. But we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> In October... Um, and also, right. if you've got a problem that you would like answered on the podcast, please email gotaproblemmate at gmail.com. And please do like, rate, and subscribe because it really helps us grow. It's Ooh. growing. We're growing uh, as humans and as a podcast. Organic growth. Can I, on that note, read our listeners? I would love you to, Bilal. <laughs> Go. We have a lovely question from a listener. Chalton Outlaw, oh, it's yeah? called. Who is, it, is he from Chalton? One of my... I lives in Shorten, um, yeah. I believe. One of my I've Twitch people, actually. Did Shorten Outlaw come when I played in Shorten about three years ago? Probably. Why not? That's what made him an outlaw. <laughs> I've got a problem. <laughs> I've got a problem. Are you speaking as my, him? As him. No, right. I've got a problem. My wife is pregnant. <laughs> Baby boy due 5th August. Oh, God. We That's can't a great I'm scared agree. about the end of this. We can't agree on a good name. Please oh. suggest a name that works with my surname, Outlaw. <laughs> no, your so, surname's not Outlaw. So we're picking a name. That's sick. That's a great second name. Baby boy. Uh, wow, it's very easy. Christian. Isn't it? Christian, Christian Outlaw. Outlaw. Joey. Joey Outlaw. Um, 
Listen, if you would like a kid that is as successful as a guy that's been on coach trip and a Mecca Bingo advert that's about to come out, Ooh, then why not call that? your Hello. son Joey? Are you allowed to say I that? I say that. It's coming out. No, you're in trouble now. No, I'm not. You, lo- you have to give the money back. <laughs> no, well, well, that is too late. I spent he's it gonna, all on Scratch I was going to say, he's going to spend his fee for Mecca Bingo on going to Mecca what are the Bingo. Odds on, yeah. What are the odds on spending uh, all of the money on Scratch Cards and doubling it, do you reckon? Pretty good, I think. Yeah? Okay. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> don't take my advice, but... Do you keep track of if you're up or down overall? No, I think I should. My my best mate uh, hates the fact that I've got a scratch card addiction and she's got a little tally in her phone called Prove Myself Right because she thinks that I lose money on it. I think... Who's this friend? Natalie. Natalie. I yeah. don't like Natalie's attitude. Thank you, Joey. I think she's probably being a supportive friend. <laughs> no, I, but then if you won like £250,000, then Natalie is not allowed any to the parties. Absolutely not. Yeah. She won't be there. I'll be spending £249,000 of it back into the scratch card yeah, fund. But, of course. You know. And they're listening to this. Yeah. So they will let you win Big it. Big scratch now. card, no. <laughs> so what's a good name? Gerald. Gerald Outlaw. Gerald yeah. Outlaw. Ollie. Ollie Outlaw. Ollie Outlaw. Now that sounds like a like an olive brand. <laughs> uh, I think because Outlaw sounds like it sounds quite American. So I think it should be like an American sounding. Yeah. Okay. Finn. Finn. Finn Outlaw. Bukayo. How many? Did you say Bukayo? Bukayo. Bukayo Outlaw. Bukayo Saka Outlaw. He's Actually, not coming on the podcast. Dennis Burkamp Outlaw. <laughs> Stop saying I'll still play. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, Dennis Outlaw sounds Dennis Outlaw. Outlaw. Dennis Law, yeah. Dan- uh, Dennis uh, Outlaw. Um, what are your what is with, your, what are your granddad's names? With Outlaw. What are your granddad's names? Jude Outlaw. Oh, that's that's a cool it's like one. Jude Law. Yeah. It? Okay, we'll go Bob. with Jude Outlaw. Bob Outlaw. <laughs> okay, Bob. Alan Outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we hope That's we a nice that question. We never Alan, get Alan like Outlaw that. sounds like a fake sports pundit. <laughs> um, as we. Uh, as we're still a fledgling podcast uh-huh. and we don't really have a lot of money coming in the doors, wouldn't I'll it be nice that. to recognise one of our team behind the cameras by naming it Kay's Outlaw or Elliot Outlaw? Oh, so you have nice. to be one of those. Or Kay's is a cool name. Kay's yeah. out, you know what I mean? Oh, Kay's thanks. Outlaw. <laughs> Elliot <Sorry>. sucks. <laughs> Elliot, it sucks. <laughs> Who named you? Elliot Your mom is and also dad, cool. idiots. <laughs> 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 it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Alex, you said you got a couple of problems. Got a couple of problems. So, Scratch card addiction being one of them that yeah. we've already touched on. Yeah, was that what genuinely one of them? That was that was one of them. Okay. Well, no, oh, actually, you know I sort of made that up at the start of the show, but do, yes. Do you know what? Do you know what I don't like? Go on. Is you know these? Um, if you're in a car a lot, you'll hear on the radio the national lottery adverts. Yeah, and. Uh, they're always saying things like, why not buy a lottery ticket for a friend for a birthday present? That is not a... Fu- if if okay. I get if that's what I get for my 40th, I'm going to be fucking... A lot of you... So I get, tickets. like, birthdays and Christmas, a lot of people buy me a scratch card. Yeah, but that's because it's your thing. Yeah, but what I mean is, it's very... I think it's very weird to buy someone one if it's not like your partner or your best mate and you're just doing one together because what if they win? What's the etiquette with giving them some? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um... Now, I genuinely cannot remember who this is, but somebody told me that they bought their girlfriend a fake scratch oh, card. No. Oh, this is horrible. And that that was a winning scratch card. Yeah. yeah. And he thought, oh, it would be like a fun joke. No. But she scratched it off, saw that she'd won, and then didn't tell him <gasps> that she'd won because she was planning on leaving him. <laughs> And that's how he found out that she was leaving him. That's really good. That's, that's really incredible. Good. I know, right? Did she scratch it in front of him, do we know? I guess not. Yeah, I don't know. Because, But even if you were sat here, you could be like, ah. Oh. But how do you cover that up? Yeah, like, oh, no, lost. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like you've just like you've just come, but you try to hide what, it. Right, if, what? How would you? How would you resolve that if uh, that happened with you and you and your wife? My wife. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's so yeah. that's so amazing because as well, he ne- then knows that's like a Christopher Nolan film, isn't it? Like he knows that she's going to break up with him, but then he also knows 
that's going to be a world of pain for her when she goes to try and cash that scratch card in and it's all yeah. fucked. So really, he's won. How did the conversation, it was like, oh, so did you do the scratch card? Yeah. How yeah. did it go? Oh, nothing. Yeah, basically. Like, Oh. I would have been. I would have been so naive. I'd have been like calling the company, being like, "Thought I was supposed to have a winning thing, and she didn't win." What ringing up uh, the joke shed? The joke shed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, joke shed. Uh, so it's about, is this not the national lottery. The amount of calls that they must have to tell someone their partner's about to leave them. That's an awful <laughs> prank, though, isn't it? I would never. I honestly. I would never do that to someone. I think it's so. Can I tell you an awful prank that I did on a Go girlfriend on. once? Oh no. So uh, we're having a surprise birthday party yeah. for her and uh, it was like out of London. So I said to two of her friends, I'll pick you up and then we'll drive because it was back at where she went to uni, Yeah, where the party was. And so I said, we'll meet you in the big Tesco's in Hackney. right? And um, then as I was like getting close, I was like, what I might do is give you the keys to my car in like one of the aisles and you can like drive around the block in my car and be like, we're going to... Wherever we were going, right? Yeah. And, but I was having a little bit too much fun with it. And I was like, oh, um, have you got the keys? She was like, no. And I was like, oh, I must have I must have dropped them somewhere like in Tesco's. I was like, can you go and wait? Can you go and check by the car? And I'll just check around my foot, retrace my yeah, footsteps. Yeah, yeah. And I went out. And obviously, I knew the car was no longer in the space, right? Oh, <laughs> and, so she's, and like she's like at the space, absolutely she was freaking like, out. Someone stole in the car. I was like, no, I don't think so. She's like, it was parked right here. I was like, I don't think it was parked here. And then she burst into tears and I felt really bad. Oh, <laughs> what did you <laughs> another... I probably would have done that though. It's not, it doesn't sound too bad until someone's crying. And then they, the, the friends like drove around with like bibbing the horn. She's like just in tears. Bibbing like, the horn? Yeah. Bibbing bib, bib. <laughs> bib bib, bib. it. Bib, bib, bib. Stop bibbing the horn. Bib, bib, bib. <laughs> well, that's a terrible story from your life. That's another thing we'll have to cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Like you reading your emails on air. That was all right. Oh, was it? Okay. My yes. problem. I never finish a cup of tea. This is top cup. Oh, I've got one in front yeah, of me. my mum's like that. It drives my housemate Can I have a look? insane. There's loads in there, actually. Oh, you've not touched that. Well, I have. This is the point. Can I? Tea is too hot for me at the start. Then I start uh, drinking it and it very quickly gets cold. That's a waste. No, I've not finished that's yet, though. Waste. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm actually trying to use it. this. Lower it. Lower for anyone more, 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 listening more, 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 on audio, you could watch the YouTube video for free. And you can Love see that the tea in the cup. But I'm still going, and I'm really trying to express. Mm. I'm trying. I'm trying to work through it by finishing this tea. But mm. yeah, it's it's constant. So Your, this, this episode uh, doesn't finish until you finish the tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We I keep rolling, think. and as soon as you finish, mic's down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lights <laughs> off. <on>. So you've <laughs> got quite a lot of power here because this yeah. could end like that. Um, do you think? <laughs> if you guzzle it. Yeah. Do you think it's because you were like, when you were really little, you had a little traumatic thing when you drank something too hot and now you're always scared? I think that a lot of people start drinking their tea like seconds after they've made that's it. And mad. I'm like, have you yeah. got an asbestos mouth? What's going on? Yeah, that's not right. So I'm, in my head, I always think, wait. And then the tea start, gets the perfect temperature, but then the, the sort of bell jar of tea temperature just goes really, really cold after you start drinking because there's less of it, so there's less mass. And then the last bit's always too cold and then it drives... Well, thank you for Hubert making Meyer this podcast insane. a bit more highbrow by using bell jar. Thank you. I think that's what it's. Bell yeah. curve. Bell, bell curve. curve. Bell um, jar is still the Sylvia. I think, that, uh, I think that this problem is actually emblematic of something much bigger. Oh, no. I feel like... Um, if we if we look at your career so far, you was a journalist. Now you're not. You're also sometimes a DJ. I think you have a habit of starting things and not finishing them, Alex. I think that would be correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jamie. How are you getting on with your Edinburgh show? <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> it's the last week of July. I've written something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Any good? No. God, okay. No. <laughs> Please come. Yeah. When's it on? Uh, <laughs> From next Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> I I do a very very expensive last minute um sort of one day direct to help people finish their show why would you want no I, I charge want 3 you. grand oh. if you need me do you want that yeah, yeah i'm going to cool. catch this scratch card in get 3 win get 3 three. grand yeah. straight on yeah. jerry page yeah it's smashing what he does is is he all these like new comedians owe him loads of money and he's like a loan shark oh <laughs> and he, like, nice smashes their stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> I've smashed four laptops this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> God, that would be satisfying, wouldn't it? With the tea, have you tried the smaller cup? So Adam Flood suggested this. Yeah. Enemy of the podcast. Yeah. And it did work for a while, but then I just sort of forgot. But I need to, but do you know what the, the do you know what the solution is? You know, but I feel like this is the same thing as buying a pocket protector. 
right? It's really dorky. You can get like a little round thing like that that stays warm that you put your tea on. What's right. a pocket protector? Well, you could have a flask. One of these? Or a flask, yeah, but you don't want to drink that. Oh, no. No, that's a, that's a wallet, isn't it? Yeah, that's a wallet. Yeah, that's quite don't cool. show your cards. cards. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, my name is Dad. <laughs> No, it's like pe- pe- so that people don't get pickpocketed. Like you know, the sort of middle-aged dads used to buy pocket protectors so that you couldn't. What is get a pocket hand. protector? I, I think it's just sort like, of like a sort of. It, it looks not dissimilar to condom. that. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. yeah, I think it's basically just like a little plastic thing, or like people that Do wear. Do you know what their... a condom is, but now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> So it got me into this mess. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little heat pad thing. Yeah, but is that? But then really you got to leave dorky. them lying all around the house, which yeah. is just equally as infuriating. Exactly. Do you have a microwave? Um, yeah, which I sometimes do, but see, people are very against that. But what? I do do Re-microwaving that. Re-microwaving your yeah. tea. Just Why give it's a little ten-second blast. Yeah. People say it's like sacrilege. What if you were able to figure out you make the tea, and then you set a timer, oh, and you calculate when it's perfect temperature maybe it's four minutes yeah that could work know? and then just down it and just have loads of alarms going off you like you can't turn the, the hour alarm off on your casio that's watches. for tea <laughs> the bottom of this tea is <laughs> so strong <sighs> the tea bag's still in it oh you didn't take the tea bag out i didn't yeah no i didn't I, or maybe it's, it's time that you just hour. come to terms with the fact you don't really like tea I said, that's what i think this is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried fanta <laughs> it's really good <laughs> Just waking up in the morning with a can of Fanta. Okay, mm. I'm not sure how much we've helped, but I feel like... I think you've given me some given you pointers some about my try. wider personality. You come back and let us know how you got on. <laughs> um, uh, did you have two problems? Did you want to do the other one or not? I can do, but it was about my landlord raising my rent. It's quite a serious one. Oh, I yeah. I'm trying to sabotage well, Let's do it, because I think people at home would... I thought someone might have done that before on here, but... Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you... you trying to raise my rent again, yeah, I I've need... Got... What tactics have you employed... To, to try and stop it in the past. I'm moving at the end of the week. Because that's what I thought. You, and you said you were moving house. Yeah, Why? But it's because it's mouldy, the flat. Oh, it's But horrible. they won't do anything about it? Sort of, but it's just been awful. Really? And I uh, had lots of arguments with them over it. Um, so but how do we they, go oh, they were going to raise the rent as well. But I'm um, going, yeah. Raising the rent whilst simultaneously doing in nothing fact, about they, the mould. Yeah, they wanted us to stay for two years. What are the key problems with your place? Yeah, that they okay. yet to address. Glad you asked. Little little crack in the guttering, which lands exactly on my window when it's open that then sputters into my room and creates it to flood. Sure, I could just not open my window at that exact bit, but the other day I forgot. Right, okay. And they, yeah, sort of you flooded my room. You should be allowed to open your window, though. Thank you. Know, you. Without it flooding. Thank you. <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? Um, occasional mice. Occasional mice. Yeah, we often think that we haven't seen them for months and then... One will just go, oh. You've got to get a cat in there. I know, I really want a cat. Are you scared of mice? Uh, I'm not scared, but they freak me out a bit. When yeah, I don't, oh, I yeah. don't have mice. I live on the fourth floor. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But you've got pigeons that come I've into your pigeons. bedroom. You've got pigeons? <laughs> yeah, but I've written a bit about it, so it's fine. They're paying for themselves. Oh, fine. Yeah. That's a, yeah. um, a great economy. Yeah, yeah. occasional mice. Um, they rent my driveway out to somebody. That's madness. Yep. Greed. Yeah, that's not on. Yeah. Without asking what have us, you got by the a way. Car? Yeah, well, my boyfriend has a car and he comes around loads, but then he has to... Luckily, the woman that rents the drive is actually really sound, mm. but it's not her fault. It's the landlord slash estate agents. So what are you going to do? Are you going to try and leave or...? No, I'm going to try and fight them on it. Last time, I got my landlord's personal address off company's house, paid £2.50 and wrote to her by hand yeah. and explained to her that I'd been there a long time. I look after the place. And that they shouldn't raise the rent. You wrote it by hand. Yeah, I hate, pe- I hate, I hate this shit. Pen. Honestly, with a pen. Why yeah. don't you do that again? I'm gonna, I'm going to. And and you could go a slight step further and be like, look, there's some things that need fixing, which I'm happy to that's take care thing. of myself. That's the thing. Like the gutter. Yeah. So that's easy to fix. Yeah. And the mice, you could get a cat or yeah. just be like, no, uh, they're not here anymore. Yeah. They fixed they've, it. They've gone. <laughs> and mm. just live with them. Yeah. Mm. Live in harmony. Uh, how many rooms is your place? Two. And obviously you've got a flatmate. Yeah, Hubert Meyer, very good comedian. Why don't you just put his rent up? That's a good point, actually. Just yeah. tell him. He's new. Yeah. Well, he's he not, should he's only been there a year. Yeah. I'm the OG. Why don't you tell him the rent's going up for both of you and only put his up by double? I like that. Yeah. That's yeah. what I would do. That seems like the logical and moral solution yeah. to this. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Hughes. Or what is, whatever it's going up by, yeah. win it on scratch cards. 
That's what I'm going to do. Okay. That's Solved. very nice. Bilal, what's your problem? <laughs> um, I Well, I, I'm not going to talk about house moving and stuff, right? Because, yeah. We're going to save that for the next episode in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when in you've got changed. Ne- in a minute next week. Um, I want to ask about... How's your week been? Uh, so good, just thank now. you. I... I uh, <laughs> Um, I, I enjoy small talk with strangers occasionally. Lovely. But what do you do? Like, what would where? you do in this particular... Where? Yeah, no, it does depend where. Mm. But what... Okay, this particular situation I was in... Are you the guy I've been reading about at the bus stop? Yes. Yeah. Very nice. I was on the London Underground. Sorry to be London centric. Other forms of transport are available. Are available. It's quite tight, you know. Uh, there's a really nice big dog, right? Very funny guy, smiling at everyone, right? Comes up to me and I stroke it a bit and then it's like not leaving me alone. The owner says, oh, you got a new owner now. Now, what do I say back in small talk? Because I didn't know what to say. But I you felt say, like I should say something. So yeah, I, that's right. And then you take the dog. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, you should say, how much is this piece of work costing you a week? How much is this piece of work costing you a week? In food, in vaccinations, <laughs> that's not in small vet talk. bills. That's weird. See, I've got you. I've got what I think this podcast would class as a problem because I can't be asked with dogs. Yeah, I know what you mean. I prefer you know little I mean? cats. I can't be asked with cats. I prefer cats. But I don't mind dogs. I, prefer I like dogs. I like cats. And actually, it's not dogs. It's dog owners. Yes, scum. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. One of my um, biggest sexual thrills oh. is walking up to somebody in a park with a dog and insinuating oh. that I'm going to love that dog. And watching them be like, oh, she's going to come over and want to pat the dog. And then just walking straight by. <laughs> that is and funny. seeing the disappointment on their little face. I cannot stand owners who talk to their dogs like they're humans. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Or people who won't come out for the night and get on the sesh because they've, they've got, got to a stay dog, in for the dog. Which is exactly why I'm not getting a dog. Don't get a dog. I've got an XL bully. <laughs> <laughs> You just should be like, oh, I'd love to have your life. But he's like, you've <laughs> no, got your own now. <laughs> yeah, I'd make it. I'd start making him feel bad about the dog. Yeah. Be like, there seems to be a deep sadness within you. That I feel you like I've to got to show dog. you the dog because it's a very funny. You dog. took a picture when of you the dog. see it. I had to. I'd send my wife. To be fair, I saw a dog that I quite what, liked. He the said other day. it was okay to take a picture of his dog. No, you, you did it. It's sneaky. I did a sneaky picture. You can of get his done dog. for that, you sneaky pervert. If the dog finds that, if the dog finds that, because the dog is technically naked. Yeah. It was a really funny dog. I'm sorry. Um, oh, what are you doing? Replying to emails again? No, yeah. no, that I'm not getting paid for that. That's Get fine. yourself in the game. What do you mean? Look at this dog. <laughs> Come on. God, that's what is wrong with its fur? Let me see. It's, it's got dreadlocks. A, I've seen dogs like that before. Yeah. Look at that, everyone. That is quite a funny you dog. You've got a cushion a like that. Casey, you've got dreadlocks. Can you dread a dog? Can you dread a dog? Is that what people do? Not that I know. Doesn't it look like dread- dreadlocks? Shall I get dreadlocks? Yes. Okay. Wait, <laughs> In fact, when I was a kid, so- I wanted to be solved- rude hullets. I think that solves that my problem. That solved the style problem. Yeah. Get dreadlocks. I think people start reacting to you very well. D- very differently <laughs> to how they do. <laughs> well. Your Trump fans will love it. I guess that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Alex. Please remind everybody uh, of your Instagram and your Edinburgh show. Oh, yes. There's no point in you coming in here. Please come. Uh, My Instagram is at Alexandra Haddo, H-A-D-D-O-W. You can see everything on there. And you're doing the Edinburgh Fringe from... When does it start? I'm doing the 31st of July is the first one. Technically the first two are previews. My last show is at 10 p.m. on the 25th of August, my train... Home is at 7 a.m. on the 26th of August. That's a nice way to do it. Mm. That'll get the sleeper. Anyway, (laughs) thanks for joining us. (laughs) (laughs) That's so Ellen Partridge. That'll get the sleeper. I would have got the sleeper, but my show was too late. Uh, I like the sleeper. Yeah. I feel like you're in the past. I've never done it. You feel like, honestly, you feel like you're in the past. It's great. Yeah. Oh, cool. And it's nationalised. Especially if you can't even. So it's cheap. Especially if you can't afford a cabin and you just have to run the seats, which is what I did. Um, Anyway, thank uh, you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, please support us however you can, whether that's with money or just with reviews, especially on Apple, because we don't have many reviews on Apple. We've got loads on Spotify now. But we have a live show in October. If you're October. listening on Apple, that's nice. Pull your straps up. <laughs> yeah. Pull your straps up, please. Yeah. And thank you. And good night. Bye.